in Marilyn Baker. Hello, Marilyn. Hi, nice to be here. Good. What have you been up to here? What well, been... actually, I've been working around the Churches for All zone here, which includes people with um, all sorts of disabilities, and yet nobody's phased by those disabilities. We're all trying to get people to understand we can be a really important part of the church. But also, I did a concert yesterday, and that was very exciting. Quite a lot of people came, and Tracy, who's very deaf, but she did a dance. Now, you might wonder how on earth she did it, but people were crying in it because they just loved the way she did it so much. So that's, that's great. Wow, and what were you singing yesterday? Well, the songs that I've written are songs of encouragement to the heart because I believe that we just need to be able to tell everybody that no, no one at all is, is unloved, that everybody... God, God doesn't have favourites. He just loves us all the same and he wants everyone to really know and feel that love deeply in their hearts. So when you talk about that subject, how do you then put that in your songs? Well, I try to put words about God's love and about the fact that he's a real father to us and also about the fact that we are so forgiven. I think we need to get over this whole point. You know, we feel guilty, we feel condemned at times. But now there is no condemnation. If we only knew that, if we only knew how close we could draw to our wonderful Father God, we meant to come to that throne of grace with boldness. And you know, that's what it's all about. So I try to encourage people, come and let Jesus be the best friend you'll ever have. Now you were talking earlier about writing songs and how we should aim to write songs which are simple that everyone can sing that has a great melody. Can you elaborate a bit on that? Yes, well I think a lot of my songs are quite simple like that because I like people to go around their homes singing them. I've written one for instance called Do Not Criticise, Don't Be Unkind and lots of people go around singing that one in their homes. But you see with worship songs today, and I love worship songs of all styles, but I think many of them are not easy to remember once you've come away from the church and the band stop playing. And I think it's very important. The songs that will last, the songs that people remember, things like My Jesus, My Saviour, people will not forget that one because it's got a good tune. It's also got quite good words. And uh, Stuart Townend has left us a very good legacy of songs like that. So although I do more solo songs, not so much worship writing, I feel quite strongly about the way we write worship songs and how we can make them better. Yeah. So you've been walking around the exhibition today. What has got your attention? Who have you spoken to? Who have you met, etc.? Well, I've been enjoying many um, of the exhibitors' things because um, I think these days there's a lot more creativity I mean one thing that I've enjoyed a lot is the banners now you might think that's strange because I can't see them but I've had some of them described to me and you know we've bought some banners and, and they're really beautiful I think banners are lovely in worship and also I, I did well I was I was going to pass this one by but it was um, about buying a cow and I oh. thought, what is that that's all about but they don't just say oh let's give a cow to Africa they actually help the people to learn how to really look after that cow so that cow can be a real source of use to them and things like that. So there's all kinds of things here that you'd never believe, actually. I, I never realised there's over 400 exhibitors here at the exhibition. So would you say you're quite passionate about reaching out to different countries around the world? And how can you do that? Well, I feel strongly, especially, of course, perhaps because I'm blind myself, but about preventing blindness where it can be prevented but also um, there's a lot of very poor people in Malawi who are blind and Torch which is an organization I'm chair of Torch Trust for the Blind they actually um, reach out to a lot of blind people in, in Malawi and I remember once we did uh, this thing where we were trying to help the beggars um, and they don't have beggars so much now but you know we, we were trying to give them a job and, and um, provide a mill for them, you know, a maize mill to do work and things like that to get them into business. And I feel this is so very, very important. But there's a tremendous dignity amongst these people. You know, we might think of them as poor, but there's such a dignity about some of them and there's such a strength of faith. I think we have everything we need in this country, but our faith can be quite weak in comparison with theirs. I think we've got a great deal to learn from them. Definitely, a lot of them have so much joy, don't they? When you Absolutely, <laughs> joy, you're right. So you're going to be doing some new programmes for Revelation TV. Can you tell us a bit about that? Well, I'm, I'm certainly hoping to. I've met some really remarkable people 
over the last few months. People whose lives count for so much and yet they have some kind of disability. And I want people to hear about these people, the courage, the strength of character, the faith they have. We talk an awful lot about healing in the church and I want to see more and more healings taking place. But I also love to see people, even if they've got a disability or whatever, to, that they're going to be used and that they can, they've got such a lot to give, you know, to the church. And, and, and you know, sometimes do have to overcome more than the average person. And I think, you know, these stories we want to tell about people, we're going to interview them, Tracy's going to be on the programme, my friend who, who's deaf as well, she does um, a lot of prophetic stuff and, and uh, we work together well, but I'm going to play and sing. But we want you to get to know some of these amazing people and be inspired by them. That's really awesome. So, just to wrap up, what's next? for Marion's Baker Ministries? Because you sing all over the place, don't you? So Well, we do, and we love churches to invite us. Uh, you know, we love to do all sorts of things, not just the big things. People have said to me this week, oh, we couldn't invite you because it's not big enough. That's not the point. I even go, if, if I feel strongly, I really do love to sing in, in senior citizen centres and things like that. And, and because I feel, you know, they haven't got so much time. Why not sing to them, you know? And why not? So we go everywhere, and the next, well, we're going to Swansea this weekend, but also um, coming up, we will be running a lovely holiday in Torquay, and it's a break, a refreshment and renewal break for people, and we do that at Brunel Manor. So that's a very good thing uh, that we'll be doing in the summer. We try to run a lot of refreshment and renewal breaks all over the country because we, we meet so many people whose batteries need charging and they just need to get back on course and strengthened. Okay. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for letting me come on. Thank Welcome. you. Bye.